Hello again, this is Mr. Sater, anatomy instructor at uh, Dublin Sailor High School. We're going to go through the frontal skull and just review it in flashcard style. Um, before we begin, I just want to uh, point out, I'm not going to go through um, the names of all the larger facial bones, um, like the, uh, and cranial bones, like the um, frontal, parietal, temporal sphenoid, maxilla, mandible. I'm going to kind of concentrate on things that are unique to this view, so you should already have a really good idea of um, where these bones are, just based on the um, other video I did. If you want to go back and uh, check that out, that might be a good review for you. But um, on this quiz, I still might ask you the frontal, parietal, sphenoid, temporal, uh, maxilla, mandible, but um, I just want to kind of focus in on some of the smaller details around the... Um, orbital areas and um, nasal areas. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'd like you to name the structure that's uh, projecting down into the uh, nasal cavity there. Those are called nasal concha, but they're part of the ethmoid bone, all the uh, upper ones there. They are orange in the picture, just like the ethmoid bone has been orange in all the uh, different diagrams we've been working with. All right, let's go ahead and look at this next one. Okay, this is the vomer. Also, it's called the inferior nasal concha, but it's part of the vomer bone. All right, let's move on. Okay, I just want you to know what those small openings in the back of the uh, pink bone there are called. Those are the optic canals, and if you remember when we did the interior view of the skull, they come out right um, sort of on the top of the sphenoid bone. That's what your optic nerve travels through. All right, in this picture, I'd like you to identify that um, dark um, crack um, or opening, a slit-like opening. That is a superior orbital fissure. If you can just kind of remember some of your terminology, superior means top, orbital means the eye area, and fissure is a crack. Um, if you remember your physics, that's where the word uh, fission comes from. All right, another one in that orbital area. All right, this one has a very similar name. It's on the bottom, so we're going to use inferior um, orbital fissure. So it's just like the superior one, except it's on the bottom. On this next one, I just want to know the name of this bone. Kind of zoomed in a little bit here to that orbital area. That's your zygomatic bone, which makes up a lot of your eye socket. And again, on this one, I just want to know the name of the bone. That's the sphenoid bone. All right, again, on this one, I just want to know the name of the orange bone. That's the ethmoid bone. We already looked at it down in the nasal area, just to kind of review again, but that's the ethmoid bone as seen from your orbital um, region. All right, on this one, I just want to know the name of the bone again, the green one. That's the lacrimal bone. And just remember that lacrimate means to cry. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Let me know if things were too fast or too slow in class. I hope this helps you study. And as always, if this isn't working for you, if there's something I can change, please let me know in class.